Hi everyone, welcome to Season 3, Week 8 of the Los Altos Juice Frogs Team Builder Dynasty. And this week, we will be playing New Mexico Lobos. And this is another one of those weaker opponents in the Mountain West, and they look like they are completely overmatched on paper. But here we go. Uh, first possession, we are sacked, so it's second and 18. This time it looks like we got a man open. But somehow their star safety was able to come back with the interception. Like Sapp was open, I even threw the ball to bend in toward the middle, but the defender bended in more than our receiver. So great play by the defender. And now they get the ball to Howell. He doesn't look like he's very fast, but he got 20 yards there anyway. A couple plays later, it's third and one. They decide to go out wide to their star running back, and he does pretty well to get four yards on the first down. So third and one again. This time inside the 10. They hand it to Clayton, and Clayton's got it up the middle. So the fullback scores. And 7-0, New Mexico up. This time we go deep, we got Cunningham wide open, and he completely burns the secondary. So 7-7, seven, seven, we come right back. This time they fake the end around, they give it to the quarterback, the quarterback runs, he slams one guy down to the ground with a stiff arm and gains another additional 20 yards. Unbelievable play. Now, this, now they give it to the running back, Preston, and you can see why he's a star running back, just like Phenomenal spin move there to get an additional five yards. And now it's Presley again. Not much here, but at least he uh, trucked enough to get the first down. So third and 13 now after a couple plays. But they got a man wide open. Wow, he almost fumbled the ball. He left the ball way out there, but we were not able to get a clean hit on that. And they give it to Presley again, and he takes it in. So 14-7, New Mexico is on top once again. This time we got a man deep, he's wide open. No contest here, BJ Kelly just coasts into the end zone. 14-14, but New Mexico is definitely playing well and giving us a dogfight right now. Unexpected dogfight given that New Mexico is a far inferior team. And did you see that? What a block there by the receiver on a linebacker to clear him out so their quarterback can get additional yards and get the first down. Now second and five, they give it to Presley. We drag him down, but just barely over the line, so that's the first down. And Presley again, out wide, off tackle, first down. 4.4 average, wow, it doesn't look that impressive. I felt like he's been burning us uh, much worse than the 4.4 average. This time they give it to the up back, no, it's not going to work this time, 4th and 3. And they are forced to kick a field goal, so now down only uh, 3 points instead of down 7. We're looking good, but two men under again. I didn't have the confidence to throw it. Didn't want to risk an interception. So now it brings up a third and 18. We got Cunningham wide open. Great catch there to keep the drive alive with 44 seconds left. So we got a chance. Freeman shakes off the defender. Looks good, but unfortunately, I got too excited from shaking off the defender that didn't look clearly to see if the receiver on the underneath route was open. And I guess obviously he wasn't, and we throw a pick six at the worst possible time. Luckily, on the ensuing possession, we give it to BJ Kelly, and BJ Kelly is able to burn everybody for a touchdown. So that pretty much negates the pick six, so it's basically like we didn't do anything on our previous try. Which isn't horrible, I guess, but New Mexico does get the ball to start the second half. That's the only downside. If we get the ball down 21-24, I feel a lot better, but here's a fumble! And we pick it up, but what did I just say? If we get the ball to start the second half, I feel a lot better. And now we got the ball to start the second half. So just an absolute phenomenal... But then what? A coach's challenge? Are you kidding me? And New Mexico gets the ball back. Oh my gosh. And now they pitch out wide and Presley has got a first down. So all, I mean, all the momentum is swung back to New Mexico. That was our chance to blow the game wide open. Instead, we got this... This stuff now. Fourth and one, New Mexico obviously is going to go for it from this field position. Wow, coach's challenge. Wow. And now fourth and one, we almost got the guy stopped. He's not stopped. So it's another first down. They get to the up back. Up back does well. He's got 15 yards. Trucks another guy. Rolls on top of another guy. So he got about 17 total there. That's third and six. They give it to Presley. And he just drags the guy into the end zone. He cannot tackle Presley with one arm. 
So then New Mexico is up 31-21 with only 5 minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. Kind of dangerous. And we overthrow BJ Kelly on 3rd and 10. Now we have to go for it on 4th down. Or else this thing's going to get out of hand. We got BJ Kelly on 4th down. Clutch, clutch play there with like a little bit over 5 minutes left. If we did not convert that, I think New Mexico could have just taken this one to the bank. But even now, we're still down by 10 and we just take, took another sack and it's 3rd and 18 from a pretty tough spot on the field, like the 35. We're looking, no one's clearly open, at least not for the first down, but now we got Robertson! Waited long enough and the offensive linemen were able to hold up just enough for us to get the ball to Robertson. Now Cunningham's going to be able to pound it in easily. It's a huge sign of relief. I mean, the game could have easily been lost there, but that big fourth down conversion really helped us. And then even after that, we'd still need to convert to 3rd and 18. But here, are you kidding me? They almost broke another one for a touchdown. This is New Mexico. And now they fake the handoff, and the quarterback shakes off a defender to make that spectacular throw to the receiver. And the receiver, he just out-jumped our defender in a situation where it looked like it was 50-50. Now here we got Warren Ball coming across the middle on a slam pass. Nice job, but unfortunately we only got... 4 minutes and 45 seconds to do some damage, and New Mexico has already put up 38 points on us. Unbelievable. So now first and 10 near midfield. Got Kazi on the underneath, but unfortunately he does not get the first down, so that keeps the clock running. Which is an issue since we are down more than one possession. Now second and two, we decided to go with the pass, we got a couple guys open. Nice job this time, we do get the first down, so we can stop the clock. Now it's second and six, and we got another first down. It's Kazi again, we're inside the 15, stops the clock. But unfortunately, after taking a sack, it's second and 18, and just a terrible pass, and that should have been picked. Wow, we are extremely lucky that was not picked, so at least we have a chance on third and 18. But no, Bridges, our free safety coming across. And he is not able to get the first down. Because it's 4th and 11, and we're down by 10, I really needed to kick the field goal. Because if we missed on 4th and 11, the game would have been over. And I guess I must have been running way too many deep routes in this game. Because Bridges, our safety, a defender, was put into a receiver position. And considering how deep our receivers are, it, that's pretty surprising. But luckily, New Mexico turns it over on downs. So we get the ball back with a chance to tie the game. It's Cunningham! And that was even under thrown. Luckily, the, there was no defender near him, or else that would have been picked for sure. So now it's 38-38. Unbelievably, we're still in this game. And we got New Mexico's quarterback sacked to bring up a crucial third and 21. If we can stop him here, we can get the ball back. They get to Wiggins, and he stopped just short. Five yards short of the first down. So we get the ball back with 38 seconds left. And now we got a man busting open. And that ball should have been picked, but BJ Kelly gets it on the rebound. Unbelievable. And that lets us get close enough to the goal to completely chew out the clock and just basically kick a field goal to win. Wow, what a catch by BJ Kelly. I mean, that's pretty much play of season right there. Well, uh, not necessarily. I mean, it was a tie game, so we wouldn't have lost the game if he did not catch that or if that was intercepted. But still, phenomenal catch there. And we end up just slipping by New Mexico by 3 points, 41 to 38. Wow. And I think this is the difference between Season 3 and Season 2. If this was last year, we would have lost games like this. Like against far inferior opponents, somehow we would choke and lose the game. Whether that's a missed field goal, whether that's a missed extra point. But no, this year, with the new controller, we're not going to miss extra points. And I think that was... I wouldn't say that was the difference, but that definitely kept us in the game. So overall, an okay day for Freeman, 500 yards, but two uh, two interceptions. B.J. Kelly had a huge day, uh, no no catch bigger than that last catch to get the first down inside the 20 to ensure that our field goal would go in. So huge sigh of relief. Uh, this keeps our uh, winning streak going. Uh, we have a four-game winning streak now, so we're really looking good and just looking to put this going behind us and learn from it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next week.